Hey YouTube, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, aspirin's role in an ECA stack. That's ephedrine, caffeine, and aspirin. Uh, I've done a previous video on this where I basically said that aspirin being a blood thinner didn't really have a role in an ECA stack other than assisting uh, geared lifters, you know, geared lifters, um, or people on testosterone that may increase their red blood cell count, or certain steroids that uh, increase the red blood cell count, keeping them from developing blood clots or putting themselves at less of a risk of blood clots. Well, somebody came onto my channel on my video and proved that I have absolutely fucking no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you to Anthony for going on to my, uh, my previous video. He sent me four studies that actually show apparently aspirin has a role other than being a blood thinner. Uh, so let's talk about the good of aspirin in an ECA stack. Let's talk about the bad of aspirin in an ECA stack. And let's talk about how it's going to affect your gains or potentially affect your gains. So. The good. Um, he sent me about four different studies that I read through, and what these studies showed is that we know ephedrine and caffeine have uh, the ability to create thermogenesis, right? So, um, you know, you take ephedrine and caffeine, and you'll burn more calories than if you didn't take ephedrine and caffeine. Derp. Um, now, aspirin unto itself has absolutely no thermogenic qualities. If you just take an aspirin a day, it's doing bloody nothing. And if you don't need to take an aspirin a day, don't take a blood thinner. All right, this is a nurse talking, and I'm telling you, that's a dumb idea. But what these studies showed is that when you take ephedrine and caffeine, it creates thermogenesis. When you take aspirin by itself, it does nothing. But if you take aspirin with ephedrine and caffeine, it actually... Oh, what's the word I want here? Potentiates the effect of ephedrine and caffeine. So it actually induces more thermogenesis. There is something that's a secondary um, pharmaceutical... Uh, um, effect of aspirin when combined with ephedrine and caffeine that actually increases thermogenesis. Now it said that the, the study showed that it's way more profound in, in obese and morbidly obese individuals, meaning that the more overweight you are, the more the aspirin will actually help create uh, thermogenesis in your body. But for people who are a little bit leaner, people who aren't obese, it will still increase thermogenesis in your system. So apparently, who knew, wasn't me, but apparently Anthony knew because he did the research, um, yeah, aspirin actually has an effect on the ephedrine and the caffeine. So we know those two products work, and we now can say that with aspirin, they work better, and they cause increased thermogenesis. So that's the good. I mean, apparently aspirin has, an, has a role in an ECA stack. <sighs> now I look like a jackass for having said that it didn't, other than being a blood thinner. So I'm eating shit on this one. Happy to do it. I love being proved wrong, especially when it comes to stuff that's scientifically based like this is. Now let's talk about the bad. You're taking a blood thinner. As being somebody who was on a pharmaceutical blood thinner, I was on Pradaxa for, uh, four, uh, for three months, you bump yourself, you bruise yourself, you have to be worried about everything. Now people can turn around and say, oh, it's just an 81 milligram aspirin, you know, two or three, four times a day, it's not that bad. Yeah, it is, trust me. Being in an emergency room, I have seen the bad of what being on a blood thinner can do. You bump your head and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you got a brain bleed, who knew? Or, you know, you, you bump yourself on the knee and or on your leg and now you've got a gigantic hematoma and a bruise. Blood thinners are nothing to fuck around with, guys. They're not. Um, take it seriously. It is a blood thinner. It's, it's not. Yes, it will create increased thermogenesis, but there's still the fact that you are on a blood thinner. You'll, you'll clot less. You'll bleed more. And depending on any type of injury you get, you get punched in the head. You're an MMA fighter or something like that. I've seen MMA fighters that are 20 years old die from like subdural hematomas and subarachnoid bleeds because they got hit in the head too hard and they weren't even on blood thinners. Imagine if you get punched in the head while you're on a blood thinner. Not great at any age, all right? Getting punched in the head is a lot worse when you're younger because there's not a lot of room in the box to move around, right? And uh, the bleeds just are more catastrophic when you're young. We've had 80, I've had 80 year olds that have like a bleed for a couple days that come in and you're just like, oh, because there's so much room because the brain shrinks. I move on, uh, I digress, let's move on. So if you don't need to be on a blood thinner, guys, don't take a bloody blood thinner. I'm sorry. Like, it just, it seems silly to me. I would still not recommend taking aspirin with an ECA stack. I would just go with the ephedrine and the caffeine because we know ephedrine and caffeine work. And the increased, like, it's a risk reward. And yes, you're taking aspirin and it will potentiate the, the thermogenic effects, but at the same time, you're still on a goddamn blood thinner, guys. And I know that doesn't mean much to the average person, but take it from a nurse. It means bloody something. I promise you. Don't believe me? Uh, that's not what I'm here for. I don't really give a shit if you believe me or not. Um, now let's talk about how it could affect your gains. What the studies also showed is 
um, it had an effect on protein muscle, uh, muscle protein synthesis. And the reason for this is aspirin is an anti-inflammatory. So on top of being a blood thinner, it's an anti-inflammatory. Well, the inflammatory process is required and essential to growing muscle, to getting stronger, to getting bigger. So if you add aspirin to an EC, uh, an EC stack, you're increasing thermogenesis. Okay, you're, you're trying to lose weight, that's the point. You're on a blood thinner, which sucks. Trust me, having been on one, it sucks. And there's, you're, you're putting yourself at eight increased risk for bleed. And people, like I said, you get rear-ended and all of a sudden, you know, like just, mm. anyways. But now you're, now you're messing around with muscle protein synthesis. Now you're messing around with your ability to hold on to muscle and to build muscle, depending on what you're doing or what your goals are. So the question becomes is, now that we know that, it, that what it does, do we really want it? Should we be putting aspirin into an EC stack? Should we be doing an ECA stack? What's the point? Yes, no, I don't know. That's for you to decide. You're an adult in theory when you're watching this. Although I don't think any seven year olds are watching this wanting to go on an ECA stack, but so there is good. All right, we know that aspirin will now prepend, uh, uh, potentiate the effects of ephedrine and caffeine and create more um, thermogenesis in obese and morbidly obese individuals, but also in the average Joe. The bad, being on a blood thinner. And then the middle ground where it's like, you're trying to lose weight, so you're probably not gonna be building a ton of muscle anyways. So the anti-inflammatory effect is gonna affect muscle protein synthesis, but your goal isn't you know, muscle gain anyways, it's usually just muscle retention. So it's like, um, might not affect you as much being in that middle ground. That's why I kind of put it as like, eh, right kind of there. You make the decision on your own, guys. Um, I'm making this video because I think that it's important that when I mess up or when I say something that's wrong, that I correct myself, all right? Fetter and caffeine, both effective at, at, at weight loss. I've used them myself. Um, you know, they, they increase thermogenesis. It's burning just that extra 100, 200 calories a day that just when you're trying to get really lean, it can assist. I've never run an ECA stack. I will never run an ECA stack with aspirin just because I don't want to be on a blood thinner. And having been on a pharmaceutical grade blood thinner, I can tell you, I never want to be on one as long as I live for the rest of my life, if I don't have to be. You make the decision on your own, guys. I hope this was informative. Um, if you prove me wrong, I'm absolutely gonna make a video to, to give you uh, props for it because I believe in evidence-based practice, whether it be in medicine or in fitness, right? And this is evidence-based practice. We know what it does. That's it. Sorry for the long video. Uh, questions, comments down below. And as always, guys, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.